name is Hilton Parham Jr. Having this nice show. Well, the first time I picked up a paintbrush, I was four years old. So that was like 80 years ago. I used to do stick figures and then uh, put clothes on them in, in, uh, uh, with the watercolor. You know, I did one portrait uh, of, a, uh, of a, a piano player, a female piano player named Mary Lou Williams. I think it took me like uh, uh, probably five hours to do. And I was in a show down on Martha's Vineyard Island. But uh, it all depends on the, on the subject and, and what it is. Portraits go the fastest for me. Uh, I seem to be able to do those quicker than anything else. Like I say, I was always interested in jazz, you know, musicians. Plus, I was always uh, interested in the uh, African-American experiment, like, uh, you know, from slavery. Um, then also, uh, I like to do things from Africa. Uh, I like to do um, portraits. I love for people to tell me, uh, to ask me, to uh, commission me to do a portrait. That's what I, what I love the most because that's where, where I can get my money the fastest. <laughs> uh, but it's not all about money, you know. It's just the, the love of the love of art. You know what I mean? This is a beautiful, uh, beautiful, exhibit, nice turnout, which is always good for an artist. And um, it, you know, just it just makes you feel good that people come in and uh, you know enjoy looking at your work. Some people have been contacting me, but I just, it's almost like through my every event or every experience I have or meet someone, it almost like leads me to them. So um, it'll be random. Someone will come to my job and we talk about art and then I see what they've done. They'll show me a picture or um, Instagram, social media, really. A lot of the poetry and art events from here to Boston. Um, so. From the last year, I've definitely met so many. I have a good hunk of, of options, which is great, because Massachusetts, we really do have a great culture like that. Being an artist, you know what it takes to put into the art. So you know what to look for. You know that it may have taken them 10 minutes or you know five weeks. You know the options that they may have chosen. And, and so being an artist is going to help that, you know, because you want, I know what I want in my own events and my own showcases, so I want to do that for others. And especially with Brockton, I love Brockton. I'm born and raised, and who knows how long I'll be here into the future. And I want to make sure we have a culture here that stays here. Hello everybody, and welcome to IABA Gallery's fourth iteration. Our artist, and you can look around and see, is Hilton Parham. The name of this show is Civil Rights and Alto Nights. There is work here about the African diaspora from Middle Passage through the Golden Jazz Age and beyond. Around us we have images of bass players, trombone players, saxophone players. We've got Billie Holiday with Cozy Cole's band. We have got wonderful things here. Brockton has a wonderful jazz and musical history. Anyone paying any attention knows that people have gone from here to world stages. And this work represents that leap for me. We are living in the middle of a bit of a musical and artistic and cultural renaissance right now and music is a very big part of it. And it is, as I say, it's the fourth iteration of the Ayaba Gallery. We're having a good time showing off the work. We've got a wonderfully full room behind us here having a good time, a little bit of talk about the redemptive power, the storytelling power of artwork of the music that is represented. This is all but ephrastic work. This is oil paintings about musical genre. The artwork is storytelling. The artwork is ephrastic. It's about somebody else's artwork. And the gallery space is about the renaissance that Brockton is in the middle of as we speak. 
We invited everybody down and we're lucky everybody came.